are at Ontario Airport and the queue is showing one out of five, one out of five, one out of five. Do not be fooled. Uh, you know the drill. I'm going to go in the background, start working on my YouTube channel, answer some of your questions, and who knows, maybe we get a ride, maybe we don't. But what I understand, and I remember correctly, on a Tuesday, let's see how many people are here. One out of five means... Uh, well, there's no way to check, but there's not that many Uber drivers here. 6 out of 10, 16 out of 20, that's fine. Add all that up. Let's just say there's less than 25 people at an entire airport. Time is 9 o'clock. It is showing how many flights? Three flights? No, my friends, it's not three flights, okay? 10 o'clock, it's showing 11 flights? Correct. So basically, the window is this. If I get lucky, fine. If not... This is the window where we want to get a ride and we want to get to LAX. And today is Tuesday, meaning uh, beggars can't be choosers. I woke up a little bit late because last night I slept very late and I got out a little bit late. But hey, Tuesday is my slow day. Tuesday is the day I get to relax, take it easy and make YouTube videos. So let's get started. Let me show you what I've recorded for you so far today. We're going to go back because I got fresh content for you today. Hey, there it is. Okay, we'll start in the morning. Um, let's start from right here. This is the first video I recorded this morning. It's literally showing me leaving my home. And honestly, just I turn the app on and I try to see what is in the container. What is Uber showing, right? So I zoom out a little bit and I just count all the, the dollar signs and I try to see if there's a red or a surge somewhere. It's a Tuesday, right? So nothing going on. But if you look, Marietta, Temecula, it's just nothing, right? You can see the gray cloud, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a little bit more in Moreno Valley, a little bit more in Al Alessandra Heights, which is the top left corner. Fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yo, take me to Costco, right? As I'm on my way to Costco, I'm looking at the map and I'm looking at where the traffic is. Boom, right there. Traffic is near Mead Valley and Paris. That basically means right when I get to Paris or right when I get close to Paris, maybe there is a chance of an Uber passenger, maybe there isn't. But because it's Tuesday and Uber hasn't given me anything right now, uh, it might be a little bit slow right now. And look, this is 6.44 in the morning, right? Right now the time is nine o'clock, which means, let's just say two hours. Um, I got to the Ontario airport, which means everything in between, nothing was offered to me. Or it was so low that it wasn't worth my time, or I couldn't click on it fast enough and some other driver beat me to it. Fair enough. Let's move on to the next video. The next video is me literally circling an area and telling you... Actually, that's the video I was supposed to uh, use and tell you about traffic, but who knows? Uh, who cares? You know, I missed the... It's weird. Like, I'll record a couple of different videos and I'll forget which one to work on. Now I'm showing you Merino Valley is my first choice, right? No, no, sorry. Menifee is number one. Uh, Merino Valley is number two. Riverside is number three. And the, by the time I get to Ontario is number four. I'm at Ontario Airport right now. So you know everything in between didn't work. So check this out. $9, 5.0, 16 miles, 11, no, 16 minutes, 11 miles, 17 minutes, 7 miles and go back to Temecula meaning you want me to go way out of the way and pick up somebody then bring them back to Temecula and 5.0 means it's a new customer it's a comfort ride it doesn't feel like a comfort ride right it literally does not feel like a comfort ride so let's move on this is um, something my mom sent me happy Tuesday I hope your day is filled with laughter and love thank you mom God bless you Okay, we're going to keep going. Let me get rid of my face because I need to clean this thing up. This screen doesn't always look good. Now let's turn it on. Let's see if it's more clear. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Whatever. All right. Let's go back to our game plan. All right. Now I'm kind of showing you the numbers might be off. But basically, number one is Menifee. Sorry. In this situation, I'm in my notes, it's showing Marino Valley. I'm here. And by now, I haven't gotten anything, but Sugar Hill and Riverside are my number two. Sugar Hill, because a hill, hilly area might give you potential clients, but Riverside is my number two option and it's showing $1.75. No problem. So these are my two options. Let's go. 
Next, I'm showing you, I probably got gas at Costco and now I'm on my way and we are basically gonna go to towards Riverside and I'm gonna hit where the 215 freeway is and the 91 freeway is and see what happens, okay? Um, all right, let's keep going. Is this a video? Yeah, it is a video, okay. Okay, right here I have the app off and I am testing to see if it's a real surge or a fake surge. And literally what I do, app on, app off, app on, app off, app on, app off, right? And then I move. So sometimes when you leave one area and you go somewhere else, you want to turn the app off for 5, 10, 15 minutes to let Uber know like, yo, I'm not here anymore. And when you're off the platform, it doesn't know. Then go back on when you get into another area. Uh, in this situation, what is it offering me? $12. $3.59 extra to go 11 minutes, four miles away to pick up somebody in Riverside, then drop somebody 12 minutes, four miles away in Riverside. Total is going to take around 30 minutes. Not a bad option, right? But remember, my drill is simple. In the morning, you don't want to take any anything less than $30, anything less than $25. On a Tuesday, maybe that would have that would have been a good option, right? Now here, fake surge. 625 725 six dollars 875 550 I call bullshit and I had to just do a double take and let you know the 275 seems more reasonable but that is fake 100% fake and there's no way I'm gonna go out of the way and chase that and if you're gonna go chase something like that let me know in the comments if it, if it worked for you on a Tuesday morning 745 in the morning right now that's a lie okay we're gonna go over here and now I'm literally showing you good, good. There's traffic, there's $2.75 that's possibly available for us. That is way better than going all the way over there where it's showing you a fake surge, okay? We're gonna, okay, I'm talking about the same thing right here. Let's keep going. Now I'm literally focusing in on that and I'm, okay. $5, no. $8, no. Already viewed, right? Just bullshit rides. Let's keep going. That $4.75 showed up out of nowhere. Again, I'm already gone from that area, and it's trying to pull me back into an area, and then when I get there, it's not going to give it to me. I, I ignored it. I kept going. Now, this $7.75 is fake. 100% fake, right? I know it for a fact, but I went out and I deviated a little bit to record it for you guys and this is how I check I turn uber x off I turn it on to see if the surge is real or if it's fake right now it didn't change that doesn't make any sense normally when it's a fake surge it will turn off but in this situation you're literally going to realize I'm going to get off the freeway I'm going to sacrifice five ten minutes of my life go in there and prove to you that it's a fake surge because so you guys understand anytime you're going somewhere and it shows you Big 775 here and big seven dollars over here. It's bullshit, right? Look, 550, 775. No. While I'm on the freeway, it can give me that ride. It does it wants to pull you off and it wants to make it look like it's there and then it's gonna take it away from you, right? But today I recorded it so I can prove it to you guys. Because you know, I'm a, I'm the coolest Uber driver out there and I know that. Alright, is this a video or a picture? This is a video, it's three minutes long. So let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm driving up. I'm tr okay. I'm literally turning the app on. I'm literally turning the app off right here. Uber X on, Uber X off. Surge is still there, right? Let's go to the next video. Now, if you notice, I got here. And uh, I drove down to check it. As I got closer, it took it away from me, right? I got back on the freeway to keep going because I want to show all the new Uber drivers that are out there. When you see this big flashy um, surge, they're all fake. It's like a carrot in front of the stick. Excuse me, ignore it, okay? Now, this is a cool video. Ontario Airport, I'm checking. Wait, wh where's the... Where's the blue icon that's supposed to show me how many people are sitting there? I turn the app on, I turn the app off. Um, these are the videos that I recorded, right? Now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna optimize my phone. I'm gonna make sure that my app is all fixed, all the memory is fixed, everything else that's running in the background is cleared. Sometimes I leave, I'll even turn the app off, right? I'll turn my phone off, I'll reset it, and I'll turn it back on. Let's see what's happening in the background while we're waiting.
okay do all of this so you can get that blue icon to show up right like where it shows you if um ontario airport is working or not and bam finally right now you know you're not in the uber prison and look rides started showing up there's a four dollar ride we're not going to look at it it's not even worth talking about right but i am close to the airport i'm going to keep going and i'm going to keep testing it and right now i checked okay eight o'clock nine o'clock in the morning some flights coming in right now the time is nine that's when i'm making the video um 8 30 is when i got or i was on my way to the airport but i know in my mind around 10 or 11 o'clock is when i'm gonna have a chance to cherry pick until then i'm gonna make little videos like this and put them on my youtube channel to help you out because every day i want to teach you a little bit different strategy a little bit different technique that i'm working on right and so you can kind of understand 10 11 is a good time to be at ontario airport but at LAX, it's better to be there around 11, 11.30 in the morning because LAX timing is slightly different and there's a lot more people you're dealing with. Ontario, there's hardly anybody here. Okay, let's keep going. Now I took a picture just so I can post it in my YouTube community and let everybody know like, yo, 10 o'clock is a good time to be at Ontario Airport. Sometimes 11 o'clock is, right? But look, I'm here at 9 o'clock or 8.30 waiting for almost half an hour to see if Ontario Airport gives me anything. If I don't get anything, then you know what? I might have to, I don't know, I might have to make a, a executive decision and leave without making any money over here. Now I'm saying number three, meaning this is actually number four, right? I have to remember this. Menifee was a no, Marina Valley was a no, um, Riverside was a no. So now I'm at my fourth location, which is Ontario Airport. And here I'll wait and I'll work on my YouTube channel. I got my coffee right i'm ready to go and i'm chilling because my real business is to teach you about having a plan b and having a youtube channel having and having a podcast or having a blog that's what i eventually want to teach you to do literally what i'm doing right here and you can do that and if you ask me in the comments how to do that i swear to you i will create more videos on content creation but if you want me to teach you more about uber i'll teach you uber if you want me to teach you more about spirituality i'll teach you about spirituality and don't ask me about women because i got three divorces i can't help you with women okay so the queue is showing 11 out of 15 6 out of 10 1 out of 5 that is when i got to ontario airport or i'm getting to ontario airport this is the first time it showed me what's going on and it was changing fast when i was getting here you'll see in the video okay look right now i'm literally one out of five right let's go back here look i'm one out of five one out of five one out of five this is real time now it's 906 a.m right now if i look here at the ontario thing and it's showing 16 out of 20, 6 out of 10, 1 out of 5. That hasn't changed for half an hour I've been here. These are the same people that are waiting here, right? 9 o'clock flights have come and gone. I don't know why. Oh, no, shit. It's 9 o'clock. So three flights are going to come in. There is a small chance I might get a ride to Los Angeles. But I think around 10 or 11, it's going to be a bigger chance. You'll know because I'll be recording videos until we get to that point. Okay, but don't worry. This video is 13 minutes long. I'm going to end it very soon so I can move on to the next video. All right, let's keep going. What else do I have for you here? I think we're basically done. Now, at 8.30 in the morning, all of a sudden it's showing the queue went from 6 out of 10 from where it was earlier, right? And very soon it's going to be at 1 out of 5 at 8.33. So that means in the in within 5-10 minutes... The queue went to 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, and now it's still at 1 out of 5, right? Meaning the flights came, I missed it, everything Uber had to offer was ridiculous, it was low budget, it wasn't worth it. I'm not going to mess with it, right? Then, I came in and I already edited the first video that I want to post on my channel, and I'll end it with this. I, I edited this video, I uploaded it, and every day in the morning I make one video that talks about the date and the time, and I send you a good morning, right? Now, let me show you the exact video on my YouTube channel. And here's the cool thing. There you go. It's done. It's uploaded. And notice this. There's no views on this. And I'll tell you why. This is a new YouTube channel that I just started. And I'm helping a friend uh, post uh, esoteric knowledge on this. And hopefully, she's going to watch this video. And she's going to go over and she's going to comment on this video. Because, look, I haven't posted anything on this YouTube channel. This is the first video I posted to let her know. I got her new YouTube channel going and I'm actually asking her to start recording and using her voice to give me some of her knowledge so I can push this YouTube channel for her. And of course, it's going to help me also, right? And this channel is, by the way, called Infinite Sight Occult. 
Um, check it out. The first video I posted on it. Okay. Let's switch account and let me show you where, where, where are my three main channels. So this is my main channel. This is where most of you run into me. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's go into the videos. Check it out. This video is uploaded. It's ready to go. One person has watched it. It's been 16 minutes. And this video is 16 minutes long that I'm recording for you. Meaning I edited that, I uploaded it, and then I started recording this video. Meaning I'm not wasting any time. I am doing something that is eventually going to bring me money so I don't have to drive Uber. Right? Okay. The other three channels. So you know. <clears throat> right X serve is the other main channel that I'm pushing, which is this one. This has every single video about uh, Uber and um, basically what I'm doing on my main channel about Uber, right? And the same video, look, same videos on this channel, same videos on four channels. Why? Because that morning video can go to all four channels, right? And look, this doesn't have a lot of followers. It doesn't have a lot of views, right? Some videos get 31 views. Some videos get a little bit more, but that is okay. You know, the point is, Everything that's on one channel automatically goes to another YouTube channel and then I mix it and I match it and I do something slightly different to see what's going on. Like nine days ago, I posted a video that got 36 views on this channel, right? Now, if we go over here and we look at my main main channel, okay, let's go over here. We're going to go down to the videos. We'll go here because I'm going to look for that big red icon. There it is. Okay. No, it's down here further. Okay. Right there. So on my main channel, this video right here should take a look at it. Okay. It's gotten, it's gotten 725 views nine days ago, 34 likes and 17 comments, right? That is good news, right? And the icon or the thumbnail on this and the title, is different than the other channel and this is how I do a and B testing right so one channel is for spirituality one channel is for uber and this is a channel for everything right it's about homeless people it's about saving California it's about uber driving it's about my lifestyle and honestly it's about growing content creation and growing your own channel honestly this channel is really about content creation eventually I want to get to a point where I want to teach people about content creation and I haven't gotten to that because my heart is teaching other Uber drivers first because that's the most frustrating thing, right? So now we're going to end this video because it's 18 minutes long and I didn't want to speak for 18 minutes, right? But let me end it with something cool and different. And you're going to like this. So look, 32,702 followers, right? That's like, what is this? Here it is. That is, let me just show you. Yeah, that is last month. So in one month of me pushing hard and the spikes that you see, that's almost 820 new subscribers. That's 340 more than usual. Meaning normally my channel will get around 300 to 350 followers in a month. Right now I'm almost at 900, which means it's three times the amount, right? And then the numbers show it, right? If you look at 90 days, look, the two big spikes at the end, that is because in November, I got frustrated and I said, you know what, I'm going to push YouTube hard. I'm going to push it hard and to end the year and let's see what happens, right? So you can see the spikes in my, my, my account because a couple of videos went, not viral, but they got eight, 9,000 followers that have to do with YouTube. Let's look at my watch time hours, right? We're going to look at it in 90 days, in three months. So there was a big spike uh, in September. Then October, it came down. But in November, when I started making Uber videos, it's starting to go back up, right? And every time you see a spike, it's literally a video that's, that's pushing people a little bit more. If you look at it in 28 days, look, it's a gradual curve that's going up. Then there's a spike, then it's going up. Then there's a spike that's going up. Then there's a spike that's going up. Here, let me draw right on this for you. Look, right here means a video did well, okay? Right here, it means uh, it was going down right? So right here, I started pushing it to go up again. And look right here, the upward trajectory is right there, right? <clears throat> Which means my watch hours are going up again, right? Now let's look at it in seven days, right? 
It, it went up, it came down. Now it's pro uh, projected to go up again, right? Which is really good. Now let's look at it for 365 days. Yeah. It, my channel blew up a year ago. Then I took it easy and it, it kind of calmed down. And now I'm trying to push it hard again towards Uber. And literally, I'm not focusing on spirituality. I'm not focusing on anything else. Literally focusing on Uber because I've realized we don't have much time left to drive Uber. Let me show you the last stat. <clears throat> last stat is, let's do 90 days. Boom, right there. So this is showing the amount of views that my channel is getting, right? Um, and look at all the spikes. September, it's okay. October, it's okay. So it looks like in the middle of October, I started spike, boom, spike, boom, spike, boom, spike, boom, spike, boom. But overall, it should be going up. Now, if you look at the last 28 days, lots of spikes, right? So this is one video right here that went really good. This one's gotten around 10,000 views, right? That one video is phenomenal, right? Well, it's showing 13,000 views now. It was at 10,000 before. If you look at last seven days, it's okay, about 60,000 views. That's not bad, right? Now, if you look at the average for my channel, okay, sorry, let's go over here, real time. You know, in real time, I like to be at around 20,000, right? Right now, it's at 11,000, means it's going down. That means there's something that I need to create in order for my channel to get back to 20,000 views in a day. Or hopefully, by the end of today, I wanna be at 20,000 views. Keep watching and see what I do. If I can get this to 20,000 views today, that will be phenomenal, right? And these are all the videos that I've posted that are doing well, right? And it's very important to look at stuff real time in the last 48 hours. Like, if you follow my channel, you know this video always gets 2,000 views, right? I don't do anything on it. It's on its own, it's doing its thing, and it's not even that good of a video. It's three hours long, I've made so many mistakes on it. But because it's doing so good, I don't mess with it, right? Let me show you what some of the other things on my channel that are doing well. I'm going to get rid of my face. Man, this video is 22 minutes long. I'm sorry. I'm going to edit, but, but listen to it like a podcast, right? Look, I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for Uber. It hasn't given me anything. And the moment I get a ride, I'm going to stop this, upload it, and then move on to my, my, my next video. Entitled Women. She is going to give me a tip in the app, Liar. That got 1.6K uh, views. Then I did that video again. If you look at the fourth video, she said, I will tip you in the app entitled women that got 920 views, right? Mm -hmm. So the same video edited slightly different and trying to get, um, you know, just trying to poke the women a little bit, right? The third video has 1.1K views in 48 hours and it says, why are you driving 35 miles an hour in the parking lot, bro? That's a video that there was an accident in the San Diego lot the other day. Here's another video, $4.20 a gallon has gotten 571 views. So let's look at that for a second. It's gotten me 16 subscribers, but look, it's gotten 10,000 views, right? 10,000 views, right? And people are only watching 32 seconds of it, but, but here's the thing. This video talking about $4.29 gas. Let me highlight this for you. It's gotten 10,000 views just talking about gas in california i'm gonna wait a couple of days and you know i'm gonna make another video about gas and i'm gonna post it why because it's potential clients that are gonna come to me or potential fans or potential audience members that has something to do with uber right so let's 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 look at this okay this is another video of billy carson that's getting 343 views in 48 hours so let's look at the details because i haven't touched this in a long time now the same video that you see that's three hours long, that's, uh, this is a version of that video, right? 425 subscribers. I made $12 on this. That's bullshit because uh, YouTube deactivated me. But look at that. In the last 393 days, this video is going up and it's still getting views. It's gotten more than 20,000 hours of views, right? Anyways, my point is this, this is an old video that's still doing good for me. No problem, right? Here's a new video and we'll end the video on this one. Step-by-step -step cherry picking. Three, oh, maybe we have to end it sooner. Okay, this video is 24 minutes long. I'm gonna let it finish. Okay. I am not going north and south. You're in the back of the queue. Oh my God. Really? Oh my God, Uber.
I can't believe you put me at the end of the queue. 21 out of 25. That is okay. You know why? Because we're still on top of the queue on Comfort. We're still on top of the queue on Uber Excel. You know what? This is a great time to end the video. I'm going to end the video. I'm going to upload it for you. And hey, you guys know the drill. Like the video, even if you don't find it worth liking. Comment on the video, even if you don't want to comment on it. You don't have to share it. But my point is simple. You help me, I'll keep creating content like this, which will help other Uber drivers. Even if it helps one Uber driver, it's worth it. But when some videos get a uh, hundred likes and they get 10 comments, the algorithm picks it up and then they end up going further. And what is my purpose? What is my point? Help Uber drivers, help homeless people, help gig workers, right? As well as helping myself. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.